What is your love language? Wait, my language I love? <gasps> yes, it's a popular theory by Dr. Gary Chapman. His goal is to help understand the needs and differences of people in relationships. Relationships with your partner, family, and your friends. Do not be baffled or be intimidated by this someone because I'm not that strange. Shit! Oh, I still got it! So, what are the five love languages? Number one, words of affirmation. This is any verbal expression of validation or care. Giving them compliments like, I love you, will make the person really feel love. Number two, physical touch. This is any physical contact that shows affection. Actions like kissing, hugging, holding hands are just a few that we already know. Remember that it doesn't always have to be touchy or showy because you can just do it subtly. Sometimes a pat on the shoulder or a pat on the head will do. Number three, quality time. Two bros sitting in the tub. Tend to depart because you're not gay. Now you don't always have to be physically present. This is more about how much time you spend together. And yes, online activities work too. Number four, gift giving. These are physical items given to express love and care. Now, you don't always have to spend a lot of money. You don't always have to spend a lot of cash. And, and these people do not automatically fall under the Oh, not the materialistic one month. No, they don't. Stop. So that a gift can be meaningful. Gifts are given time, effort, thought before they are given. Number five, acts of service. Action speaks louder than words. These are thoughtful gestures to make someone's day better, easier, or brighter. Acts like making coffee in the morning or carrying their heavy baggages when you're traveling are only some of the gestures that are common. And that's it for the five love languages. We have words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time, gift giving, and acts of service. If you want to know your love language, please click the link in the description below or above if you're watching on Facebook. In this way, we will better understand our loved ones as we celebrate the month of love. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow.